for this is little little puppy from Lexi. She's just had a feed from mum, so she's all wet around the mouth. Got milk all over your face, haven't you? So she is four and a half weeks now. Still really, really small. She's only 250 grams. Aren't you? Little tiny creature. <laughs> she wants to climb up me. I've just got this little fluffy bed on her on my lap. You want to climb up me? No, stay there. I'll, I'll give you a cuddle in a minute. Anyway, there she is. Yeah, you're stuck. There you go. I'll tickle your tummy for you. Hey, how's that? Is that good? A little tickle? Yeah, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a little play with um, the resin cloudy effect today. Uh, so something that <clears throat> uh, Miriam's nature did. Uh, Miriam with a Y. Now I had a couple of tries at it and I haven't been successful yet. I'll show you this one. This one I did <clears throat> oh, oh, a few months back I think. I called this one seagrass. You can have a look on um, my YouTube channel for this one. It's a, it's similar. I dropped inks in and then I dropped my recipe for my um, 3D blooms, you know, with the white pigment paste and the white alcohol ink. I dropped that on and then swirled it around after an hour. So that was that one. So sort of continuing along those lines and a little bit on the lines of... Um, a petri dish pour where you drop the inks down and then you drop the white on top so kind of like that kind of like a 3d bloom putting them together and hopefully we'll get something pretty <clears throat> so um, and you can check out Daniel Cooper he's done this as well based on um, I think on Miriam's nature's work hi Miriam hi Daniel <laughs> uh, it's so nice that we can all share together now in here I've got these four and these four have got resin in them. The resin is this one here, HXDZFX. I was going to use my usual one, my, um, I use this one when I do my feathery effects with my pigment pastes, but I thought, oh, I'm not sure if it works the same. It's a bit thinner. This one's thicker, so... We'll go with that one. I'll have to do some experimenting with some other resins and see which ones work. Right, so in these four here, I'm going to do greeny blue. So I've got, these are the Let's Resin alcohol inks. We've got green, turquoise and sapphire blue. And then in these four, I thought I'd do pink, what's peach red, which is really pink, sky blue and lemon yellow. So that's going to be in those ones. And then in here... I've just got 15 grams of plain clear resin. I measured that out first and then what was left over, I filled those. So into that, I'm going to put, and I don't know how, I'm going, how many I'm going to put. I don't know. This is the Let's Resin Sinker White. Down the bottom there it says C for Cat Deeper. So that's the one to use to get it to drop down low. Um, yeah, I don't know how much to use. I've heard people describe it as skim milk. So let's do 20. Let's see how we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's hard to push. 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20. <clears throat> right, that's 20. <clears throat> I don't think it's going to be enough, but like, like I said, I've tried this before and I videoed it and it hasn't worked, so I just deleted the video because there's no point showing you if it doesn't work. Hey, okay. and I think what I did was I put too much white in and it basically all sunk to the bottom. So I need it to be a little bit more transparent-ish. I don't know. Look at that. Does that look like skim milk? You can kind of see the stick through there. I don't know. Um, 
I might try see when I did it previously I had my colored ink down I put the white on I drizzled it on but the white kind of sank straight to the bottom when I've seen other people do it you can see the white staying on top mine didn't do that it just sunk that's why I'm thinking I had too much white so let's just leave it at 20 for now put the lid back on and um, I'll have a little go with it and see if it sinks what it does I don't know we'll see better give these a shake hadn't I I don't know if you have to shake them but I will shake 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 all right so we'll do these ones here first get the lids off but make sure I put them back on the same bottles that they came from all right so these four are going to be these pretty colors one Actually, let's, oh, yeah, let's just do one for now. Um, actually, no, let's do two. Let's do two. That can be up that corner. And then I think, what do I want to do next? Do I want to do the yellow next? Yellow and pink make a kind of orange. And then yellow and blue make a kind of green. Oh, I don't know. One, two three one two whoops <laughs> three it might be a little bit difficult to see in this mold because it's orange i got this one from um ebay oh months ago and i've never used it it's my first time using it one two now from my experience i've had to add more yellow the yellow seems to kind of disappear doesn't seem to hold its own so i'm just going to do that and let them settle while i move on and do these ones okay so what will we do here we've got green yeah i think i'll leave it in that order oh i don't think i've opened that one yet nope get my little pin thing that comes with it and stab it just make sure you don't stab yourself okay here we go green one two one two one two it's a cute little mold isn't it i didn't fill them up very much it's probably about a, a quarter because they're quite deep and here's the turquoise one two three see it's wider there that's why I thought I would need more because the other one's in the little point and it doesn't probably need quite as much that's the three of the turquoise and now the sapphire blue two of those and then what I'll do is I'll go back to my original four and fill in any areas that don't have color so let's go put some pink another couple of pinks in the corner there or in the end put two in and then uh, I'm gonna go with a little bit more let's just do three one two three so I'm basically doing two layers here I just don't think the yellow's quite holding its own when it comes to colour. I almost need two hands to push these. I wish they didn't make the plastic so hard that we can actually push them more easily or squeeze them more easily because they're quite difficult to squeeze. <clears throat> right, here we go, next one. So another two. Try and fill in the little gaps. And the turquoise. <laughs> that one got a bit of a squirt <laughs> rather than a drop. You've got to squeeze so hard, sometimes you squeeze a bit too much and you get a squirt. Okay, and then some blue. Filling in those gaps there. I want the whole surface to be covered before I go adding the white. Okay, 
Okay. Now, still concerned about the yellow. I'm going to put more yellow in. Okay, I think that will, that'll do. Oh, look at this one. It's really come across into all the others. All right, I think that will do. Now then, give this another mix. So what I'm going to do, hopefully I've got enough here to drizzle six. I'm going to just do a little point there. I should move these out of the way before I knock them all over. Put the lids with them. All right, there we go. Now I've got some room to move. So we'll start with that amount of the white in there. It was 20 drops, hey, and see what it looks like. So I'm just going to kind of drizzle it and see if it kind of stays on top. Looks like a rainbow. Okay. Well, this is much more, much different, much, much different um, to when I did it last time because it all sank and I couldn't see the white at all. So maybe, maybe I'm on a good thing here. Let's do it again. I'm not, I'm not going from too high up. I'm just going as sort of close as I can. That one seems to have a little bit more. So, oh, it is starting to sink a little bit, but I don't know if you can see. Actually, let me zoom you in. I'll zoom you in a little bit now that we don't need all that extra space. Um, hang on. There we go. A bit closer. I'm going to put my glove. That one looks like a rainbow, doesn't it? Now, I just have to make sure. Oh, goodness. What happens if I don't have enough to go around? Can't make up any more resin. I better do these ones, and then if I've got more left, I can come back to those. I'd hate to run out. So that was 15 grams. I guess that'll be a good little starting point. And then if I realize that I need more, you know, I could take it up to 20 or 30, but this is half an ounce, 15 grams. Now this resin takes quite a while to set up. See, I've got enough. I should have enough to do the last couple there. So it takes a little while to set up. So I'm going to wait probably an hour before I come back and swirl. I wonder if I should do some more. Just like that. Up the centre. I'll just do two. Two on that side. Two on that side. I don't think it's going to make any difference to the actual design because I'm going to swirl anyway. But that's just those two top ones there. I've just got a little bit of extra. And there we go. I'm done. Done skis. Yay! All right, so it's looking good so far. So that was 15 grams of resin, half an ounce, to 20 grams of the Sea Deeper. I'm going to go and put all my little lids back on. And um, what's the time? 5.30 in the afternoon. I will come back at 6.30 and see if we can get a little sort of stringy trace when it's when the resin's picked up with a pin we'll see how we go hey so we'll check it after an hour so i'll be back then actually i want to come down come down and have a look at this calm down with me if i was doing a 3d bloom oh, come on focus Oh my gosh. If I was doing a 3D bloom and I saw how that white was spreading, oh, why aren't you focusing? I don't know what to look at. Anyway, it's, look, look how puffy the white's getting. See that middle one? See how the white's puffing up? 
and there as well you can see how it's kind of going puffy <laughs> I think that's a good thing I think that's what we want but yeah if I was doing a 3d bloom I'd be going yay my whites reacting and it's going all puffy these ones I can't really see they're very dark oh, camera doesn't know what to focus on there looks like a, a fish skeleton doesn't it and these ones look like rainbows all right well I'm super 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 keen to see what they're gonna look like but um I'll be back in an hour and we'll swirl and then we'll have to wait till tomorrow to unmold so see you soon righto went and had my dinner fed the dogs um, it's actually been <clears throat> an hour and ten minutes it's 20 to 7 I did come back and check it at 40 uh, sorry 50 minutes and an hour and um, I wasn't getting a little you know um, sticky train or thread so um, I'm just gonna do it now let's have another little look okay I'm getting a tiny little sticky thread it's not really lifting it's kind of lifting a, a little bit off the surface and then it's breaking but I really don't want to leave it any longer than an hour and ten minutes so let's let's swirl um, I don't know let's just do some swirls I'm trying to bring the darker colors through to the light and then the lighter back to the dark like so and yeah I don't think I, think I just want to do little circles like this I don't think I want to do zigzags or anything And then back up again. And this one's very dark. Hopefully the other side is has got the white on it because you can't see any white here. And if it hasn't worked, uh, then next time I can do the same thing, but maybe add thirty drops of white. But we'll see what happens. It might work. It just looks very, very dark in there. Doesn't look as if it's going to work, does it? All right, there we go. All swirled. <clears throat> I'll give it another little touch because I can see some bubbles coming up there. When you swirl a little bit, sometimes you can incorporate a bit of air into it. Well, that's those little drops. Of bubbles that popped created little white dots all right I'm done you guys oh no a little bit of fluff just fell into that where did you come from all righty I'll leave it at that um, cross your fingers for me that it's working I can definitely see this one's lighter but then I did use very dark colors didn't I but anyway I used dark colors when I did this I did blues and greens as well But um, anyway, we shall see what happens. Um, I'll be back in the morning. Welcome back. It's the next day. And uh, they look as if they've set. They're really, really dark. I can't really see any white. <laughs> so um, I guess we'll just have to see what happens, hey? see if they've worked now these ones on this side were the ones that had the blue yellow and pink and then these ones were the blue turquoise and green so let's start oh, a little bit bendy still this resin takes a little bit longer to set up than my usual resin let's pop that back down again like so alrighty let's have a little look that oh there's all that clear space underneath all right here we go one two three oh wow what do you think of that one nice and swirly isn't it it's a cute little shape that one you could always drill a hole at the end there and attach a 
a bale, I think that's what it's called, a little bale clasp. Very nice. Put him there. <clears throat> I guess they're all going to be the same, aren't they? All of these ones. Because I did them with the same colours and in this world the same. I know that one looks a little bit more pale. Doesn't it? Or is it just me? Oh, it looks a bit more pale. I don't know. They're both really pretty though. Is that what they're supposed to look like? Now this, remember this was not using as much white. I did that one oh, last week. You might have seen that video. That one had a lot more white in it. I don't know if you can see any difference really in the actual cloud effect. I know it's a different colour but the actual cloud effect. I'm wondering if I'm putting too much white in because I can't really see the brightness of any of the colours. It's all gone kind of pastel -y. Not sure. Another one. Oh, it's probably got a little bit more of the brightness in it, like the colours. I should put them there, hey? Put them back in that way so you can see them. <laughs> I probably won't be able to get them out now. All right, last one of this colour series. Again, very similar. I like the way the colours have blended through. We've got some blue and then some green and then a bit of yellow and a bit of sort of orangey and then pink. It looks really pretty. Okay, now the next colour scheme. <clears throat> Actually, before we get to that one, these two that are closest to me, because I haven't turned it round, these these two are the ones that I put that extra piece of white through, wasn't it? I think so, because I, I did the swirl like that with the white, and then I had some left over and I put a, a stripe through the bottom. I think that's why it is a little bit more on the pastel side. Oh, you probably can't even notice, really. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I did with those these two. All right, let's have a look at this one. All right. One, two, three. Oh, it's really pretty too. I can't really make out three colours. I can make out two colours, blue and green, but I can't really see a third colour. Really pretty. Okay, I guess these ones are going to be the same. It's really unusual effect, isn't it? I don't know if I like it as much as the um, feathering. My favourite favourite is the um, feathering that I do with the pigment pastes. It's my favourite look. I mean, these are pretty as well, but I just, I don't know, I just don't think that they're as beautiful and interesting as my feathering ones. I'm going to do another feathering one today because I haven't done one for a while. So there we go. That's all of them. Do that one you can see a little bit more of the dark. Maybe I, put, maybe I did put too much white in. So that one had the extra white line through the middle. Should turn around the other way so that they're the same. <laughs> Not a lot of difference in them, but I do think that maybe, maybe I put too much white in. But I only did a little, you know, I did a little wriggle like that. That's all I did. All right, so there they are. Let me know what you think of these babies. I like this color scheme best. Where's my, mm, I'd like this one. I like this one. It's pretty. It's got some orange in it. It's got some yellow in it. It's got some pink in it, blue, green, all the different colors. And that's my favorite. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed the little video <clears throat> and um, I'll see you real soon for another one. As I said, I'm going to do the, the Petri feathering. So I'll see you soon for that one. Bye for now.